everybody. Glad to have you with us today for Kid Zone. Now, no trip in the woods is complete without a little exploring, right? For as long as people have been going out into the woods, people have been taking hikes. And if you've ever been camping, you might have been on a hike as well. Now, some people like to go exploring the easy way, like following a trail. You know, that well-tread, well-worn path that's well-marked as well. Now, many of our national and state parks, they have really beautiful trails that you can follow and lead to some breathtaking sights like waterfalls and high mountaintop views that you would really enjoy taking. Some people like to take trails on horseback just like those old American explorers, explorers did years ago when they were founding our country and getting settled in. Still, others crave real adventure. They like to leave those horse trails and those walking paths behind. Those aren't for them. They like to go explore deep into the woods. This can be a little bit more dangerous though especially in places where there's things like poison ivy or maybe some dangerous wildlife. Sounds a little scary to me, but it is an adventure that you'll never forget. Whatever path people take, it's much more exciting than just sitting inside and looking outdoors through the window. But that's exactly what many Christians choose to do with their spiritual lives. They'd rather sit inside their churches on their seats and keep their faith at home during the week. But they're missing out on the real adventure they could have by serving Jesus outside of the church. God doesn't want us to hide our faith, does he? He wants us to get involved. Early in his ministry, Jesus began preparing his disciples to take over the work that he began. He began. The work that he expects us to continue. Jesus saw the crowds and he loved them. They were stressed out and scattered like sheep without a shepherd. There is such a big harvest, but there are hardly any workers. Pray to the boss of the harvest that he would send workers to his field, said Jesus. Then Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and he gave them power to be the boss over all evil spirits, to send them out of people and to heal all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. Don't take money in your wallets or extra clothes or food, because a worker deserves the food he eats. Whenever you enter a town, search in it for people who are godly, who want to help. Stay at their house until you leave that town. And whoever doesn't want to have you or listen to your words, when you leave their town, shake the dust off your feet as a message to them. Some people will whip you and take you to their kings. Don't worry about what you'll say. The Holy Spirit will give you the right words when the time comes. If they say bad things about me, they'll say bad things about you too. The things I tell you in secret, tell boldly to everyone. Don't be afraid of them. Even if they kill your body, they can't kill your soul. The disciples went out two by two and preached in the villages. They sent devils out of many people and they healed many. Jesus also sent another 70 people into the villages, two by two, and he gave them the same commands that he gave the 12 disciples. Even the devils obey us when we command them to go in Jesus' name, said the excited disciples. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, answered Jesus. Don't be happy because you are the boss over the devil, but because your names are written in heaven. Lord, thank you for writing my name in your book in heaven. Please use me to tell others about you. Have you or your parents ever used a pedometer? Pedometers are useful tools for people who want to get fit and healthy. They help us track our steps and it works anywhere you go. For example, like the woods and in the city, anytime you go walking or exercising. God is calling us to go into our world. He wants us to get out of our homes and churches to serve God by serving others. 
there's work to do in our community. We can help the poor, the needy, the elderly, or even our friends. We can be God's hands and feet and share His love. Don't sit on the sidelines and watch. Get up, get moving, and get serving. See what God has adventures for you. One day you will look back and just like this, the pedometer, you'll be amazed at how you have how far you have come. Hi boys and girls! Hey, welcome back. I hope you've been memorizing the verse. It's a good verse and it'll help you in your life. It's uh, Philippians 1 6, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Have you been working on it? I sure hope you have. Let's look at it together. All right? Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1, 6. Ain't it good to know that we can have confidence that God will not stop working on us until the day he returns? So while we are right now, we'll, we'll hopefully get better and better and better and become more Christ-like and become more stronger in our faith. And that's what this is about. And I hope you will put this in your heart, and I hope you'll remember it, and be confident that God is going to work it all out for you to grow closer to Christ. All right, bye, boys and girls. Have a good one. Those 72 that Jesus sent out, they learned a few things from their first missions experience. I'm going to talk to you about three things that they learned. The first thing that they learned was that Jesus wanted them to help him. Jesus knew that there were so many people that need to hear the good news about his love and his forgiveness, but there weren't very many workers. He wants his followers to travel the whole earth sharing the good news wherever they go. Our church is here to help people to grow and learn more about Jesus, but it was never intent intended to be a hiding place. Jesus wanted us to go out into the community, the whole world, sharing his good news. Not just with our words, but also with our actions. See, we can tell people about Jesus, but we can also serve others by meeting their needs. Being, as we call it, Jesus' hands and feet. Many times it's our actions and not our words that really convince people about how much Jesus really loves them. The second thing that they learned from their first mission experience was that they learned to go in peace. See, Jesus told them to go into the homes that they were invited into, sit to, to sit down and share a meal with those that invited them to to share his word with those that would listen. See, God gave every person a free will. It's their choice whether or not they decide to follow Jesus. And you might be tempted to argue with people and try to convince them about the benefits of following Jesus. But the thing about arguing is it leads a lot of times to hateful words and hateful actions. So we just share the gospel, and it requires us to share the truth in love, to say these words with kindness, and to be at peace with everyone. So they learn to go in peace. The last thing that these 72 disciples learned was that Jesus would give them power. They perform miracles, amazing things, not in their own power, but in the power that Jesus gave them. Now, God doesn't work in us like he did then. We're not going to be casting out evil spirits and healing people. But God does give us the power that we need to complete this mission. He gives us the power against evil to stand up to evil. He gives us the power to know what to say it and when to say it. The power to know how we can go about this task of showing people that God is the one true God and that he offers forgiveness to all people. So whether you like to be indoors or outdoors, whichever kind of person you are, God is calling you to go, just like he is me. He has enough believers that are just kind of sitting inside already. And that's what they do. They just kind of watch the world go by instead of serving in it. So don't miss out on the adventure that happens when you step out of your safe place and serve Jesus. Join us for that great adventure. Let's go on a hike 
and see where God has us to go to share his word with others. Are you ready to join? I hope you are. Let's ask him for his help as we do this journey together and follow this adventure and see where God leads us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for the good news that you have shared with us, that we know about your love and your forgiveness, and we thank you for your sacrifice. And God, help us to step up and be brave to be able to take this adventure that you've called us to do by sharing your word and your love with others. And help us remember the things that you've shown us that you do need workers to spread, that it is our job to spread your word to others. And help us to remember to do it in love, to share it in peace, that everyone has the choice, but help us to be willing to put your word out there. And help us to remember that you will give us the power so that we have courage, that it isn't about us but you will help us to do these things. Help us to be not ones to just sit inside and watch time pass, but to be actively being your hands and feet and sharing your love with others. We thank you for the opportunities that you're going to give us to do these things. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, boys and girls! Today we're going to play a game called Shake, Shake It Up! up. <laughs> and this is how we're going to play it. Our two lovely contestants are going to run <laughs> to the first chair and read what is on it and do what that says to do all the way to the second chair. And then they're going to have to do what that says all the way to the third chair. And in the third, third chair, oh, hi, I'm, hi. <laughs> they're going to have to do it all the way back to here. Whoever gets there first, win a winner, turkey dinner. All righty. Are you ready? Oh, I sound excited. <laughs> Having to hold them back, there's two wild horses. All right. On your mark. Do y'all want to get beside each other? Yeah, because they're on On your mark. Get to go. Oh, I'm hating Robin A. Grayson. <laughs> I don't have to skip. I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember how to skip? <laughs> <laughs> dance? Yep, let me see you dance, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that was some of the best dancing I ever saw. <laughs> Doing a cabin patch. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, thank you. The winner is Ian. And this is to remind Cheers. us that Jesus wants us to take a hike and go and serve others <laughs> all right i hope you will do that go out and serve others and uh Ian, congratulations that was some great dance moves all right <laughs> play this at home boys and girls bye something like that <laughs> yeah.